Hi, I'm Paul Lavage from Synergy Electrical Sales. Today I'm going to go over some basic 0 to 10 volt dimming troubleshooting with a device like this, a dimming power pack. The specific case is you have lights that are on, on or energized, they will go on and off with the power pack, but for some reason they just won't dim at all, or perhaps some of the fixtures dim and some don't, or they're somewhere stuck in the middle. So that's what we're talking about. Again, the lights go on and off with the power pack, we're just having a trouble uh, getting the dimming to work properly. So let me show you some steps that we're going to look at. Um, the first thing is you want to understand with the power pack how to manually dim the lights. Um, with lighting controls, there's certainly software, apps, there can be some sophistication. However, we want to keep it simple, simple and know right from the device how we can do it, dim it. So for this one, it's very simple. We're going to dim it right here at that. That's the first step. Then the second step we want to take, um, let's say we have a room that uh, has two zones, one of them doesn't dim, well, we want to manually dim it at the power pack. Watch what happens with the lights. Because what could be happening is um, one of the, the zones, let's say zone one, the zero to 10 volt input could be going from zone one and be connected to a zone two power pack. So we see that happen sometimes. So that's just something you want to check. Manually dim at the power pack, check the lights, see what happens. All right, if you still have an issue, um, you want to check the connections at the power pack. So this one, for instance, we have a zero to, zero to 10 volt connection here at the wires. Some of them have it connected here um, on some inputs. You just want to make sure that those wiring connections are good right there on the fixture. Um, if we still have an issue, we want to go and check the wiring at the fixture. Now, you may have checked your wiring already and be satisfied that it's good, but one thing to consider is that the, um, the whips installed at the fixture manufacturer, there could be an issue with them. So this is a, an LED driver and we have our zero to 10 inputs here. So it's possible that those wires are loose on there or they're wired incorrectly, or perhaps they're just put in the wrong uh, inputs. So something like that could be happening as well. But the key thing is we wanna check the wiring at the first fixture, make sure that our, everything is good. You can disconnect the fixtures down the line on the zero to 10, but just make sure and check if you can get that fixture to dim right there at it, okay? If you can't get that fixture to dim, just that first one connected, then you wanna look closely at the driver and, and look on it and see that it is indeed a zero to 10 volt driver. Um, there's some other uh, dimming types called uh, Lutron Ecosystem. There's Dolly um, that may be causing your issue. If it's a Dolly driver, it won't dim with zero to 10. So that could be going on. So let's keep going down the list. So we've checked all those things. You're still having an issue. Something else to consider. Um, is there an emergency control device in the system with this power pack? Um, if that emergency control device is seeing an emergency event, it may be causing some of those fixtures um, to not dim. The other thing you would have to check is there are zero to 10 volt connections in that emergency device that could be causing an issue in your system. So if you checked all those and you're still having an issue with your dimming, then um, you know, one thing if you have it handy on a job site is um, you don't have to connect the power to it, but you can just connect the zero to 10 on a wall box dimmer and see how your fixture performs. So if you get good dimming out of this wall box device, that could be an indicator that your power pack um, is bad. From my experience in, in working in this, if the power pack is able to turn the lights on and off, usually, almost always, I haven't had this before, the dimming works along with it. So just some things to look at, but you can do that just to kind of sanity check and say, hey, does this fixture dim properly? So uh, if it did on the wall box, change the power pack. If it doesn't, well, you're gonna have to dig a little bit deeper. You're gonna have to contact the fixture manufacturer so that they can walk you through um, what's on the driver, what's in your system, um, perhaps how many fixtures on the zones. Uh, they can look at that with you and try to determine why you're having that zero to 10 volt issue. So ask me more questions and comments, please hit subscribe as well so that I can uh, send you some more videos as well. Zero to 10 volt dimming, it works really well, but once in a while we have some issues we have to work through. Thanks for watching.